if you're playing a quiz and there's an answer you just cannot get from the tip of your tongue, it can be incredibly frustrating. Until that moment when the light bulb goes off and that answer comes to mind. If you want more of those light bulb moments, then you need this video, getting answers from the tip of your tongue and onto your answer sheet. If you're doing a written quiz and the answer is out of reach, it doesn't matter what you've got at home, it's up to you and your brain to fish out the answer. Start by asking yourself some questions. Do you know this answer? Or have you just read about it or heard about it? Focus on the ones you know you know. Can you visualize the word or words in the answer? Having some idea of the size or shape may help you down the line. Is it one word or more than one? Again, useful if you're thinking of a name. And is it a common word or an unusual word? These are fundamentals that will stand you in good stead down the line. But what next? Well, there are two techniques, jogging and priming. With jogging, think of your mind as a vending machine that just needs a little nudge to give you the thing you want. Start by writing down the letters of the alphabet and saying them in your mind as you go, hoping that something will ring a bell in your mind. Often that's all you need, but sometimes you need to go further and try and find the first syllable of an answer. And if another bell rings for you, try to expand that opening syllable to find the word that you're looking for. The other technique to apply is known as priming. Whether you're conscious of it or not, your brain forms memories by linking different pieces of information together. It could be an experience, it could be how you learn things, it could be related information, it could be visual, auditory, but all of those pieces of linked information give you an opportunity to find another route in to finding your answer. Start by trying to recall other related information, other facts about the subject. Sometimes that can fire off the memory of what you're looking for. If you know when and where you learnt the fact, sometimes taking your mind back to that time can help you recall it. In a related sense, if you can remember a time you've got it right before, that might help you go through the same thought process that got it right last time. And if you got it wrong before, try to remember how you responded that time and whether there were any ways of remembering it that you thought of in the aftermath. Sometimes thinking about what can't be the answer can help clear the decks and give you greater clarity. Think about whether there's another similar answer that you sometimes confuse it with. What is that other answer and can you work to it from there? Can you think about a time when you've seen the answer written down or seen an image of it? Thinking about that context can help you get to the answer. Are there any associations with the answer that are curious to you? Try and think about what that might be. And finally, revisit the question. See if there are any clues in there that might help you narrow down your search. All of these techniques can help your mind to make the connections that will get you to the answer. But sometimes it's like you're in a car in snow and your wheels are turning, but you're getting nowhere. Make sure you step away before your quiz turns into a car crash. You don't want this answer to affect your entire performance. Instead, make notes of all the questions you can't quite fish out, or highlight the questions on your question paper. Then perhaps look at other questions you don't yet have an answer for and see if there are other routes into those questions. Your brain will still be trying to answer these questions in the background, so step away and come back, step away and come back as many times as you need to. If an answer comes to mind and it seems unlikely, trust your intuition until you have a very good reason not to. The question will give you an indication of what you're looking for. And sometimes if you're lucky, you'll come up with several potential answers. But if there isn't an answer that is obviously correct or a much better fit than the others, then use your intuition to make a judgement what feels like the best answer for you and go with that one. And most of all, try not to stress. Let your brain process the question in the background. Go away and come back as often as you need to. Approach it from different angles and accept that sometimes the answer won't come. Don't spend so long trying to fish these answers out that it costs you points elsewhere. Let us know in the comments below if these techniques help you. And if you've got techniques that might help others, please tell us in the comments below. And please like this video and subscribe to All Things Quiz.